On the road. Literally, look. We're on the road. And today we're not travelling far, just around the corner, in fact, to Grey's Athletic. Thought I'd start this series off by staying a bit local and then slowly branching out, so be sure to let me know some football grounds you want me to visit in the near future. Now, even though we're going to my local team, Grey's Athletic, we're not actually going to Grey's. No, we're chucking a riot and going to Waverley. Because unfortunately, their once chairman decided to sell their ground. And ever since, they've been ground sharing with other local clubs, but now they're at Avely. Millfield, to be exact. Anyway, enough about that. We've been sitting in traffic for a bit, and now we're going to be late. I got the green light, parking full. Eventually, find some side road and park up behind this focus. Get out of the car and realise it needs a clean. Well, it really needs a clean. And now we're walking to the ground. And now we're running to the ground. Welcome to Avey Football Club. Someone's doing it right. Turnstile. Prices adults £10, senior citizens and students £6, under 16 £1. Oh, and in case you were wondering, there is no access to the bar inside the ground. Welcome to Grey's Athletic Football Club at Avely Football Ground. Confused? Of course. Try getting in as under 16. Realised I had a beard. <laughs> Anyone else love that sound? That's football. And so is that. But why stand when you can sit on this? In fact, this doesn't feel safe. But hey, who cares? Football. Five minutes late, mind you, but football. Today's opponents go by the name of Billericay Town, or Bill Town, as I like to call them. Or Ricky, as they like to call themselves. Bill Town are around the mid table point of the Ryman Premier, whilst Greys are rooted to the bottom. In case you were wondering, Greys are in the blue and Bill Town are in the orange. Random story, I went to my first Greys F game when I was seven years old, and I assumed that they would be green. I think it might have had something to do with the fact that Greys School, a school that I later went to, had a green tie. Here's my sister posing in one. And what are those trousers and why do I look like a devil child? Questions that never got answered. Anyway, I soon accepted that Grey's Aff were blue and got on with my life. Down there you got the Bill Town away fans and everywhere else is just Grey's Aff. And here's the first real chance of the game as a corner swung in, header, safe from the keeper, off the bar and a half chance after that. This is obviously what's left of the pre-match warm-up. I actually prefer Bill Towns a little bit more. The OCD in me is happy with that. No lower league football game will be complete without a route one ball and it's gone in Grey's favour here. Two on one as he sticks it into the box. Number nine's just got to finish it but he's not got a left foot. Mate, please. Use your left foot. Anyone wanting easy access to the ground, just use that one over the back. And as the game carries on, I've just realised what a beautiful day. It's not hot, but it's not freezing cold. It's just right. The sub bench looks like a bus stop, and I'm patiently waiting. Not for a bus, though. For a goal. Did we get a goal, though? No. We get clearances, though. And I've also realised it doesn't matter what level it is, you still get overreacting dives. It's been a stop-start game. I'm not going to lie. And I'm still waiting patiently for a goal. Did we get a goal from this free kick, though? No. Straight into the wall. Something's got to give. Surely. Surely, Mr. Linesman. More challenges, more clearances, and more free kicks. But did we get a goal? No, we don't. No, we don't. The substitutions here have grabbed themselves a burger, and I'm just going ahead and assuming that there might be one minute added on in this first half. I'm loving that gilet, by the way. Here's another clearance, which is met by a lovely little flick, to be fair. Still not got a left foot, though. I'm starting to love this guy even more now. Not only has he got a fantastic gilet and standing in for the fourth official, but he's also the ball boy and the water boy. Commitment to the calls. And after a poor cross on this near side, that's half time. <laughs> So after looking at the substitutions burger, I thought I could get one myself, but then I realised I've got a Chinese tonight and I don't want to spoil it, but I could get myself a hot chocolate. That queue is growing though. Just been analysing what I've been sitting on for the last 40 minutes. I could have been sitting on that wooden plank, but I chose to sit on this. Probably not much difference to be fair. And now here come the away fans. We didn't see a goal up that end, so they're switching ends now. Oh no, tell a lie, they just joined the queue and made it even longer. Here's some substitutions, hoping to get on in the second half. And here's another substitution, hoping to get on in the second half. It makes you think, doesn't it? This guy here can obviously play football because he's got into a semi-professional team. Stick him around the right players, on the right surface, in the right moment and he could be a superstar. I wouldn't mind betting there's a few gems down here in the non-league. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going to join the queue. I'm going to grab that hot chocolate. And if the second half starts, I'll be able to see it through this fence. Refreshments queue this side. I don't know what that means. You know what? Sod the hot chocolate for now. I've got a plan. And that plan is to see the start of this second half. Quick catch up with the assistant manager of Grays. Yeah, I've got connections. And now we're standing on the terraces with this lot who have also chose to stand on the terraces. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad view from down here, although my legs are really aching. Maybe once the queue's died down, I'll go and get the hot chocolate and go and sit back in the stand. In fact, I said I had a plan and that was my plan all along. The ball goes into the box here. And another silly dive. Get up, son. Come on, you're better than that. Although I'll tell you what, the refs missed this one. This certainly wasn't a dive. This lot ain't happy with the ref. And he had a much better view than I did. My view was blocked by this fantastic contraption. I mean, look at it. It goes so high. And at the top, there's some lights. So they can play at night. I'm telling you, the possibilities are endless. Did someone say crossbar? No, no one said crossbar. They call this kind of challenge a professional foul. And they call this a yellow card. And I'd love to know the amount that he has to pay for this booking because in my Sunday League series, I don't know if you know, but it's £10 to Wessex FA. Did anything happen from the free kick though? No. Of course not. Here's some substitutions without a burger, although I can't confirm or deny if they had one before or intended on having one after the game. Here's some more substitutions, and I promise you, this clip is not in reverse. And a big shout out to RHL Essex Fencing. I sincerely hope you wasn't responsible for this shambles. No, you know what, you're better than that. I noticed this empty cup in front of me. It's a sign, it's telling me to go and get that hot chocolate. So do you know what I did as Billy Ricky flashed a shot wide a goal? Much to the keeper's annoyance, of course. We said, yeah, sod it, let's go and get that hot chocolate. At this moment in time, I'm on top of the world. I'm approaching the T bar, no queue at all. Straight in. And here's old Doris making that lovely hot chocolate that I wanted so much. Boom, £1.20. 
20, which takes my total spend today to £11.20. Thinking at this point, I'll stick to the plan that I originally had, get back into my seat, only to find that my seat had been taken. Who does that? Anyway, I'm making my way up the steps, the wooden ones, right to the back, to the nosebleed area. Part of me thinks this whole stand could fall down at any minute, but I don't care. This is football. And so we make our way along the back row, only to find there's a lovely seat already put down for us, and it's got a hefty amount of paint on it. I'm going to take this one. And here we are. Great view. Sure is lacking a little bit of atmosphere, but I don't care. I get to see the whole entire pitch. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait about 24 hours until this cools down. Just spotted this guy filming the game, and he looks bored out of his nut. Something's going to happen soon, Mr. Linesman. I can feel it. And off he goes. Build town mounting some pressure as this guy heads it onto the beans on toast. And now the Ricky fans are well up for this. Well, this guy is. How's my hot chocolate doing? Still bloody hot. I'm not going to risk injury. Talking of injury, injury. Just like every word, if you keep saying it over and over again, it starts to mean nothing. Injury, 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 injury. What's an injury? That's an injury. The rest of the players use it as an opportunity to grab a drink. Can I grab a drink? Of course not. Look at it. So whilst I waited for the hot chocolate to cool down, I started observing who was around. These are the real football fans. These are the ones that don't give a crap about what the kit looks like. They're not indoors watching Gillette Soccer Saturday. They're here for the love of the game. Win, lose or draw. Sure, the facilities ain't great and the football isn't the best. That's their team. And every real football fan knows you don't change your colours. You're there through the good times and the bad, but mainly bad. I'm going to give this a go. And immediately regret it. Why tempt fate, Smith? I've just burnt my tongue. I've got that furry feeling, which means you can't taste anything from the next week. That's Chinese ruined. Nice one. Back to the game now, which is, of course, why we're here. Build Town still pressing, and they get themselves a corner. And so the corner's sent in. Not met by the head, though, by the shoulder. And it's almost looping top corner, only to be headed off the line. It always gets to that point of the game where you're thinking, do I take the draw, or do we risk going for the win? At the bottom, though, every single point matters. And sometimes you're thirsty for points. Did someone say thirsty? You can do one. Back to assistant referee, ball boy and water boy, the gilet. I think I've changed my mind. It doesn't have the same effect. Like, you're saying you're cold, so I'm putting this on, but then you've got your arms out. I mean, are you cold or you're not? I'm confused. Now I'm going to hazard a guess and say that these guys are cold. They're wrapped up. Hands in pockets too. Yeah, I'm cold as well. I'm just going to hold on to this. The sun's setting, but it's getting to that point of the year where it doesn't get as dark as early as it used to. In fact, one of my favourite days of the year is when the clocks go back or forward. I can't work it out. But either way, the days last longer and come six or seven o'clock, I'm wondering why the hell it ain't dark. It's brilliant. Back to the game and build Town are pressing once again with his free kick. Head a glance wide of the goal. These two have had enough. Either that or they're going to the T-bar whilst there's no queue. Great plan if I do say so myself. Nope, they're going. See you later. Braves are having a go now. Although I'm not sure that this was a free kick. I'm not sure he deserved a yellow card either. Maybe he called the ref a I'm starting to think I pay for a board draw. But then again, it's not been that boring. I've enjoyed myself. Mine is burning my tongue, of course. In fact, without even realising I've drunk it all, it's left that powder at the bottom, which I've already drunk half of, and now I'm even more thirsty than I was before. End of the game is always a good time for a goal as well, really. You know, struggling side, need something to go their way. Sometimes you just need someone to step up and make it happen. But that only happens to other teams, not us. <laughs> Stand corrected. This is football. Anything can happen. Even a great opportunity to double your lead in as many minutes. Okay, maybe not, but who cares? Okay, okay, let's sum this game up. We're looking at atmosphere. I mean, with only 277 through the gate, it's not exactly going to be pumping, is it? But a 90th minute winner obviously boosted it. And then the final whistle went, so it didn't last long, did it? I'm going to give it two stars. What about facilities? Hmm, look, I'm not here to sit down in plush chairs. This is what it's all about, to be honest, but it hasn't really been maintained for a while, is it? My ass is still hurting after sitting down on that plank of wood for ages. I'll bring a cushion next time. For me, the facilities match the atmosphere. Two stars again. Up next is food and drink, and as you know, I didn't have any food. Didn't want to spoil the Chinese, but I did have a drink. A hot chocolate. It was alright and I burnt my tongue because I was impatient. Certainly not Doris's fault for sure. Like I say, it was alright. It wasn't brilliant and it wasn't bad. So it'll just sit in the middle. Two and a half stars. Finally, we're talking cost. I spent £11.20 in total and out of that I got a football match and a hot chocolate with change left over. I cannot moan at all. A big fat five stars for Millfield. So there you have it. We're out of here. And now it's time to wind this video down. But before I go, let me know what you thought of this. And if you want to see me continue to do this on the road series, drop a comment below letting me know which ground I should visit next. Yeah, I definitely need to get that cleaned. But in the meantime, don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and be sure to check out all the other football content on the channel. I will see you in the next one.